makes this kydosan so special and what are its advantages. I will start about the introduction of kydosan first and then directly go to its applications. What is kydosan exactly? A kydosan is simply a byproduct that is uh, produced from chitin by uh, the acetylation process. That means that uh, chitin is produced from chitin by removing the acetyl group from chitin. As we see in this structure, I hope you I hope you can see my slide. If we look at the structure of chitin closely, there are two functional groups like hydroxyl group, OH group, and uh, NH group, and this nitrogen is linked with the acetyl group. Acetyl group is composed of methyl group CH3 and carbonyl group C double bond O. And if we remove this acetyl group from chitin, then we obtain the chitosan. That's very simple. And the structure of chitin, uh, chitosan is uh, composed of two functional groups like hydroxyl group, OH group, and amine group, NH2 group. And this deacetylation process can be carried out by using chemical method or a biological or enzymatic method. And the num massive number of chitin treated as uh, bio waste can be used to produce this chitosan. And why chitosan has a wide range of applications is that it is a biocompatible compound. That is, uh, bi biocompatible compounds means that they are non-toxic or non-harmful to living tissue and naturally biodegradable. Biodegradable simply means that uh, they can be decomposed by uh, bacteria or other living organisms and uh, they are non-toxic as well. That is why it can be used for various applications. And we just mentioned that chitin is obtained from chitin, right? Then what is chitin? Chitin is a natural compound that is the second most abundant uh, biological compound in nature. Uh, let me repeat, second most abundant biological compound in nature. And it is found in many fungi species and aquatic crustaceans like crabs, streams, and many insects. And tonight I will talk about the production of chitosan from a uh, stream only because it is the most common one, even though there are other various sources. And since stream is the source of one of the most rapidly increasing business in the world, and it is very tasty also, right? So during stream processing, the heart exoskeleton of streams it's like their skin head portions uh, is used to be discarded as a bio waste. So this exoskeleton of stream, uh, stream contains a considerable amount of chitin. That is the source of chitin. And in the next slide, uh, we see that this is the production flowchart of chitin and chitosan by using chemical method. And, it's, and it is very simple one. And we collect the stream waste from the industries, and then we pre-treat it with the salicylic acid, and then we undergo the mineralization using hydrochloric acid, uh, followed by the protonization using sodium hydroxide, and then we obtain the chitin. And if this chitin undergoes uh, the acetylation by using 50% sodium hydroxide at very high temperature, then we can finally obtain the chitosan. And if this chitin is added with the, uh, the protein hydrolysate, then we can obtain the protein supplement also. So this is the production of chitin and chitosan by using chemical method. And we have another method like enzymatic method. Uh, this is also very simple. We collect the stream waste and then we grind it. And then we add some amount of water and carbon sources and then mix it. And then we add some microorganisms and it's incubation. And after that, we filter it and then the residue is mainly composed of chitin. And after thorough washing, we get the pure chitin. And um, after uh, the acetylation process of chitin, then we obtain the chitosan. And from the filter, the filtrate can be uh, used, to pro uh, used to obtain protein also. And in this enzymatic method, uh, enzymes like trypsin, alkalase, and pepsin, etc., are also involved. So these are the Production flowchart of chitin and chitosan by using chemical method and enzymatic method. Uh, if you are interested, these uh, kind of videos are available in YouTube. You can find it easily about the production of this chitosan. And now we've come to the applications of chitosan. There are many applications of chitosan, but right now 
I will highlight only uh, the applications of Gaidosan in brief. I will not go in detail to each and every one of the application, but later I will talk in detail uh, about three points from these applications. First, we see that Gaidosan acts in an uh, antioxidant. That means it's, it shows antioxidant activities against hydroxyl, superoxide free radicals, and DPPH. DPPH is simply uh, 2,2 diphenyl one precal hydrolase that is a stable free radical compounds. And it can also act as an antimicrobial agent, uh, where the positive leachers molecules of the chitosan interact with the negative leachers microbial cell membrane, and then uh, tend to pull apart the cell membrane. It is also used for delivery of uh, various drugs to various routes inside the body, and it can be also used uh, in food technology as a flocculating and uh, absorbing agent, and various cytosine based uh, films are used in food coating as antimicrobial agent. And for gene therapy, it is used for delivering uh, various genes which are used in uh, gene therapy, cancer therapy, and uh, siRNA technology, and in bio nanotechnology, graffiti carbon nanocapsules or composites, tungsten carbide, chitin whiskers, etc., are used in the production of microelectrochemical systems and 3D networks. And for regenerative technology also, it is used in uh, bone regeneration, neural regenerative technology, and skin regenerative technology, etc. And as an electrolyte also, sulfuric acid and chitosan combination has the ability to discharge high voltage. And for the effluent treatment, chitosan can be used to remove Plants like uh, suspended solids processing plants like whey, uh, dairy, poultry, and seafood processing plants. And for the manufacture of paper, uh, it is used to produce filter papers, water resistant papers, etc. And in photography also, it is used as a fixing agent for uh, color photography and developing color films. And in wood industries, it can be used as wood adhesive fungicide, wood quality enhancer, and preservative. And for cos cosmetics also, uh, due to the fungicidal activities, UV absorbing ability and biocompatibility, medicine can be used in various cosmetics also. And in terms of agriculture, this is one of the important applications of Kydesan. The antimicrobial activities of uh, Kydesan have made it useful for inhibiting various plant pathogens. Plant pathogens are simply the organisms that cause disease in plants, and it also causes an increase in the oxygen concentration. Oxygen is the key regulator for plant growth and development. And urea release in the soil, germination capacity, root length and activity, and seedling height. And in animals also, chitosan byproduct can be used as a protein supplement. And for environmental protection, it can be used in the removal of various organic and inorganic pollutants from the environment, as well as heavy metals and harmful pesticides. And for obesity treatment, this is the common application of chitosan and the lowering effect of cholesterol and uh, low density lipoprotein, LDL, is exploited in obesity treatment using this chitosan. And it is also used in liquid phase chemical and biochemical transformations. And as a permission enhancer, permission enhancer means that uh, they are capable of promoting penetration of drugs into skin. Uh, this chitosan and its derivatives can increase the permission of intestinal, uh, nasal, and buccal epithelial cells. And for this reason, it can be used in the drug delivery system as a permission enhancer. And for immune therapy or immunotherapy, chitosan has the ability to activate humoral immunity complement system, etc. And as energy production, due to the ability of uh, to provide ionic conductivity in acidic solution, chitosan can be used in the production of solid state batteries. And for the last point, for immobilization of cells, uh, cells like E. coli can be immobilized using chitosan beads. So these are the highlights of the applications in brief, like I said, I will not go in detail to each and every one of these applications, but I will talk uh, in detail about three points 
from these applications, like the application of Kaidosan for drug delivery and for obesity treatment and for environmental protection. Now let's see about the drug delivery. Drug delivery is uh, simply the process of safe transportation of the desired therapeutic effect of the pharmaceutical, uh, pharmaceutical compound in the body uh, based on nanotechnology. And this drug delivery process mainly facilitates site targeting in the body and systematic pharmacokinetics using nanoparticles or several methods. And for kydosan, the property of uh, sewing solely cationic character. That means that positive character among all other biodegradable polymers. That means that in compares to other biodegradable biopolymers to be used in the arena of uh, pharmaceutics makes this kydosan unique. And, with, and uh, as we see from the structure of kydosan, uh, due to the presence of amine group and H2 group that is positively charged, it can adhere to uh, negative features, biological surfaces, uh, mucosal glycoproteins as a biodesive material. And uh, moreover, it is biocompatible, biodegradable, bioactive, and non-toxic amino polysaccharides. Also, uh, it is soluble in aqueous solutions at pH below 6.5. Therefore, it is considered as a favorable material in developing drug delivery uh, processes because of its excellent, exceptional mucoadhesive properties. Mucoadhesive properties means that uh, they are the molecules of uh, containing hydrogen bonds, building blocks, and they have uh, high molecular weight, uh, flexible chains, and high surface active properties. That is how it is apl uh, applicable for uh, drug delivery. And the next we see that uh, it is applicable for obesity treatment. This is one of the uh, common applications of kydosan till today. As scientists have confirmed that kydosan can be effectively used to treat obese patients. How? Uh, this treatment decreases the lipid accumulation activity. Lipids are the organic compounds that are fatty acids. And the lipid accumulation activity of the adipocytes, adipocytes are uh, mainly the fat cells, in our body and down-regulated adipogenic marker proteins such as leptin, resistin, etc. Uh, these proteins are the proteins that is made in the fat cells. So kydosan mediated the anti-obesity activities by interfering with the adipocyte differentiation and inhibiting the uh, adipogenic transcription factors and genes. And it also has the capability of uh, lowering uh, low cholesterol and low density lipoprotein LDL uh, that aids in the obesity treatment. That is how it is used to uh, treat obesity. And like I have shown in this slide, many companies manufacture uh, this kind of kyrosan in capsule form that can be consumed safely by human. And it is also found to be very effective. And if you want to buy it also, you can find this kind of product uh, in the internet. And for the last point, uh, application of kydosan for environmental protection, how uh, kydosan can be used for removal of pollutants in the uh, environment, especially in the aquatic environment, because it is a biopolymer and it has very high absorption properties. What is mean by high absorption properties? Uh, especially for the students, I think you remember that we learned in uh, class 12 and Fourth semester also about the surface absorption. What happens in surface absorption is that uh, absorption is that there is absorbate and absorbent BNT, and the absorbent are the surface on which absorption occurs, and the absorbate are the substance that gets absorbed. So this kydosan has high absorption properties due to its high nitrogen content, and it is also very sensitive to pH and it can either form gel or can dissolve depending on the pH condition. And it can also be easily transformed into their films, fibers, gels, sponges, beads or nanoparticles, based polymeric materials. That means that this kytosan can be easily modified depending on what we need to use it for. So the kytosan and its derivatives can be used to remove 
uh, various pollutants from the environment, including uh, inorganic and organic pollutants. Here I put some examples. First one is nitrate pollutants can be eliminated by polyethylene glycol, PEG chitosan, and polyvinyl alcohol, PVA chitosan. And phosphates can also be removed by chitosan on which copper 2 is immobilized, etc. And there are other related works also. And uh, moreover, pollution causing dyes uh, like dyes that, uh, being, that are being used for uh, dyeing clothes and other things that has been discharged into the water like methylene blue and methylene violet can also be removed using chitosan. And pesticides like glyphosate, glyphosate can be eliminated from the environment using the chitosan alginate complex. These are the modified one. We have to know that uh, chitosan in pure form is not normally used for the removal of this kind of pollutants. But first, they are used to be modified first to be more effective for the removal process. So for the last point, chitosan has the ability to remove heavy metal ions from the environment. From this last point, I want to add a little bit uh, is that um, while pursuing my PhD degree, the main work that I did was the removal of heavy metal ions from the environment, from the aquatic environment, that means from water. So uh, in our work, uh, we remove the heavy metal ions like chromium, cadmium, uh, lead, copper and metalloids like arsenic, in which some of them are cancer-causing agents, carcinogenic agents, and also causes several other health problems in humans and in the environment if consumed in excess. So the method that we use for the removal process is adsorption process. Like I have mentioned before, uh, the chitosan, uh, the modified chitosan that we make in the lab uh, excess the adsorbent that means that it excess the host where adsorption will occur and the pollutants, the heavy metal ions, uh, excess the absorbate. So after adsorption occurs, then we remove the modified chitosan that we uh, produce in the lab along with the heavy metal ions, the pollutants from the water. And then in result, we get the clear and transparent water. Uh, the result was uh, quite impressive also. So, um, and one thing is that the chitosan that we use, uh, we purchase it from the commercially available chitosan and it comes in white powder form. That means that it is already processed one and we add some silanes to increase the surface area uh, for better adsorption since the method that we use for the removal of the heavy metal ions are adsorption process like that. So these are the applications of uh, chitosan and uh, with that, I will conclude by saying that chitosan, uh, which is a biopolymer and eco-friendly, non-toxic, and can be easily modified material, has various applications. Uh, like I have said before, if you want to know more about it, you can find it in the internet also. These are my references. And with that, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to my dear colleagues and also the students for uh, patiently listening my presentation. Thank you. That was so interesting that it feels like time barely passes. Thank you so much, Miss, for your very insightful and informative presentation. And we feel extremely fortunate to have you here tonight. Now we have come to the end of our tonight's program. Thank you, everyone, for participating. And please do join us again the following night.